Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope well. So, I'm no survivalist, but I do a lot of hiking. There's bugs everywhere, sorry. And uh, I was thinking that if I was in a situation where I'd have to spend a night, what kind of tarp shelter configurations could I set up? And uh, I thought, well, I'm at the park today. It's actually uh, like a wooded, wooded area. This just has a little trail system. So I'm literally light off trail, which I'll show you here in a minute. And up there there's a school, so you're gonna hear kids in the background. I think it's probably recess, they're just getting out of school now. So hopefully I won't look like some creepy stalker out in the woods setting up shelter or some homeless guy. So I'll show you the trail and what I'm thinking. All right, so here's the trail. It goes, I haven't gone the rest of the way, but right over here is where I was thinking about setting up my shelter. Now I would do this here because if I was lost and in trouble I'd hope someone would come by and see me and go oh hey are you okay I'm like no I'm lost and, or I'm lost I'm hurt I'm whatever so of course I have my hidden woodsman signal panel I could string up and I have you know I don't have my whistle with me but I should eh, maybe in the pack I'll have to check but um, I always carry tapes. So I can put the three X's on the panel, and hopefully someone will be like, you know, hopefully someone will stop, see if I'm okay. So that's kind of what I was thinking. So let's see what I, I can do about getting a shelter. All right, so here's the spot I was looking at. Naturally, I'd want to get rid of all the sticks. Turn those into firewood. Get rid of this rock. Sleeping on that would be a bad time. So I guess now the question is, how do I want to set this up? The sun, the sun comes from this side. Which, okay. So the sun comes up over here. So I'd want that morning sunshine. But then again, if I want people to see me. I should be facing the trail, which is this way, in theory. So, hmm. How do I want to set this? Because it would be better to be warm in the sun than cold in the morning. Thought I'd point out too, it's Because I have all this stuff up here in the air, which you know you can hear the break. So all this stuff would make great, great kindling. In fact, I could probably do a twig bundle. Well, these might be a little too thick, but you know I could just pull all these small ones off, do a twig bundle. 
and I've got all these all around me so I have plenty of fuel to get my fire started <coughs> of course I'm not gonna sleep out here because it's uh, it's a work day and also this is just for practice I'm just trying to think how I want to set this up now so so I'll go ahead and show you what I've got I have a closed cell phone pad it's pretty light I'm trying out I was using the contractor bag but I went with a 5x7 tarp for the ground instead of a trash factor bag because this is longer and also wider get that out of the way so I have my grabber space blanket oh, I have a compactor bag in here too so I have a double and then I have the hidden woodsman fire bag which I have my cordage in and my uh, um, I get some carabiners and whatnot and then I have four ABS plastic stakes and then I have a saw with me in case I needed to cut down like a ridge pole or something so And I don't have like a fleece sleeping bag with me because it's just a demonstration. And to be honest, I rarely carry those anyway simply because um, I rarely carry shelter, I should say, because I'm really not in areas where I'm really that worried about it. Yeah, even right now, I'm still in cell, cell, cell service. So let's see what we can get going here. Okay, so what I think I might do is string between these two trees and then hook the tarp in the center of it. So I got my paracord, which always gets knotted up. Rather than going through some complicated knots, I'll just simply do a bite. And just run it through. Easy. I want to be able to see, huh? Probably a little tough to see the paracord, but. Go again.
You got my hole? First, I have my 5x7 tarp. I got this Harbor Freight. It was, I think, $3.99. I haven't opened it yet.
Of course, no shelter is complete without a pillow. Alright, let's lay in it and give it a test lay. Okay, so one big problem I'm already noticing is that right underneath about the middle of me there's a hump in the ground and it's actually really not comfortable. So I don't know if I should refigure and make it better or just try to make do for the night. <sighs> I probably wouldn't get Jack for sleep. I'd probably put the fire right in the middle here if I had a fire, which, you know, with this shelter, I'd probably have to have one. So let's take a look. Alrighty. So my fire would go here. After I cleaned up the area. And that way, I could stack all my wood here, which you can't see. I would stack my wood right where that plastic bag is. And just stack it up against the tree here. Theoretically, of course. And just, like now I can just lay in bed and grab wood and throw it on the fire. Although I suspect that my feet would be pretty cold, but yeah, I do wear wool socks. But hopefully the space blanket would catch the heat and come down on me. Something else I can show you too. Food for thought. So not far from camp, there's all these ferns. So if I didn't have a um, a, um, a closed cell phone pad, I could just put a bunch of these down. Now I hate to cut green material, but I hate the idea of not making it through the night either. So, and as you can see. So not only do I have lots of fuel hanging, which I could just saw this whole limb down with my saw, but I've got all this material I can use. It even goes all the way down there as well. So, in fact, if you see that, in the middle there, that dead right here. It'd be a lot of work, but I could probably either push it down or cut it down. That would give me plenty of fuel for the night if I could get through it with a saw. I have this down tree here, so I could burn this uh, bark, which would make excellent coals. Got that from Morris Kohansky, respect. There's that down tree there. So, and I see fuel. I'll take you over and show
So, not far from my camp, there's this whole limb of, of wood I could chop up. All this stuff can be cut up. And I'm not even far from my camp at all. So I have all this dead wood here down. It's been warm and dry, so it's all you know drying out nicely. I have all this laying on the ground. I may be able to cut up this. That'll be that. You got this thing down here on the ground. It may be dry enough. But once I have a good hot bed of coals, you know, pretty much anything would burn. But like I said, we've had some dry days, so. Yeah, this is all dry. So, plenty of fuel. So I would just spend the rest of the evening just doing nothing but cut and bring firewood over. And just stack it all up. And I wouldn't have to cut anything down that was green. So, I can just walk back to camp and show you how far. So I'm already back at camp, so it wouldn't, wouldn't take much to haul this stuff back. It would be actually really quick. Because I could bring it all back here and just process Theoretically speaking, of course. Just bring it all over here. I have a place I could process. Cause I got this stone here. I could just set the wood here, saw it off, simply whip it over to camp. I have more ferns over here if I needed to. I might even be able to level out the ground by putting ferns on each side of that hump and just fill it in there. So, yeah, there's lots of fuel over there. Might be part of a trail over there too. Huh. I might have to come back here and bushwhack this area a little bit. Unfortunately, because you can't camp in these areas, camping is off limits because it's a natural area. But it's good practice. I mean, practice is practice. I do actually want to get out this year and do some of these things. Try to, knock on wood. So. There you go. Well, alrighty. <clears throat> that might do. I could also tweak it a little bit too, you know, maybe adjust it, turn it by angle play with the tarp a little bit but uh, you know practice is practice so let me know what you think uh, comment below or make a video would be great and uh, let me know what you think yeah I set it up here for practice so I can look at it look at the video go hmm you know take in the advice from comments below and feedback from you guys and when I come out I can adjust and try different things so you know I think that would do so, it didn't actually take that long to put up either. I mean, I didn't use any fancy knots. I just, you know, I got it to work. Which, you know, if you needed a shelter, you know, instead of being fancy, just get it, get it done. So, as always, thanks for watching. Appreciate your views. Appreciate your comments. Appreciate your friendship. I will uh, catch you in the next video. Hopefully there will be less bugs. But, hey, you know, it's the woods. What are you going to do? All right, peace. Catch you on the next one. All right. I'm all packed up, left nothing behind but footprints, I mean a few broken sticks but, you know, no worries. Time to head on home. That away.